Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. I hope you're having a great morning. It's Tuesday, January 31st, 2017. I, like I said, I hope you're having a great Tuesday as you get up and you're moving around. Uh, today's verse is uh, Psalms 55, 22. Cast your cares on the Lord, and He is sustaining you. He will never let the righteous be sh shaken. In another passage of scripture or another version, it says, for he cares for you. I thought that's really neat, is uh, cast all your cares on the Lord. And I think that's just uh, uh, just really neat because in this day and age, excuse me, in this day and age, there is a lot of stress and, and anxiety. I been reading lots of books and and just uh, one is about habits uh, let me let me get the book it's called the the power of a habit by Charles I can't even say his last name but uh, it was New York Times bestseller and, and it's talk, it was talking about the stressful Febreze back in the day when it first came out uh, didn't know the story behind it, but now I do, and and the secrets of toothpaste. But uh, the stress, cast all your cares upon the Lord, for He cares for you. And, and every day that we we do have stresses, we all have anxiety, we all have some that uh, triggers us to get concerned and and worries and and uh, what do we do with those? Well, I also serve as a chaplain as uh, in in uh, law enforcement, and and one of the things that um, haven't been trained in it yet, but debriefing debriefing is after an incident that we talk through the situation and how we deal with it. Well, I've been in, in a debriefing situations, and the purpose of it is is to try to talk through it how to go you know how do we feel about it because I know that in bottling up things does not help and so we have to cast our cares and you know we have to we can't bottle them up so cast your cares on the Lord for he cares for you um, I find myself when I get stressed out I get on I'm a cyclist I love riding my bike and I get on my bike and ride out and into the into the country and pray a lot. I love I love spending time with the Lord, and I cast all my cares in the Lord, for He cares for me. And um, at that moment, there's a, just a peace that will will come upon me. And He does care. He does. So, whatever you're going through, whatever situation, whatever anxiety you're going through, take that, give it to the Lord. That here's the problem: is once you give it to Him, give it to Him. Don't pick it back up and say. Well, I know you're not really going to do anything. Well, you know, how do you know if you never give him a chance to care for you? I mean, that's the problem is sometimes we, like, as a, when you have friends, you, you tell them your problems and they, they try to care for you and then you say, you don't really care. Well, you don't really want to listen. That's not true. You never give them a chance. So challenge today is this. Cast your cares upon the Lord for he cares for you. And truly give them him your situation. Give him your cares. And he, for he cares for you. So as this is a Bible study, uh, and get out a notebook. Write down Psalms 55, 22. And write it out. Write out the verse. Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. After that, put an O and observe this verse. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. And so I'm going to pray over your day, and, and hopefully this will bless you. Lord, I pray for those who are watching now and who will watch later. I pray that you encourage your day, Lord. I pray that, Lord, that you just will bless their Tuesday, Lord. Thank you for those who are watching, and I pray that, Lord, that you will bless them. Right, Lord, thank you so much, Lord, in your name. Amen. Have an awesome Tuesday. I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Love you guys. Have a great day.